En-ROADS event formats. There are four main formats and then a bit of a wild card. So the formats are the En-ROADS Climate Workshop, the Climate Action Simulation Game, the Guided Assignment or Student Assignment, and then just create a, a scenario and share it with the world with the wild card of adapting it in a direction that you want yourself if you have the capacity. All right, let's start with the En-ROADS Climate Workshop. The classic structure is two or one facilitator showing En-ROADS with a table of people, five people, 20, 30, thinking together about what to do about climate change. Perhaps it's an informal group gathering at a community scale. Perhaps it's a classroom, but with that same structure of a facilitator helping people think through actions to address climate. Here at a climate conference, a business conference, sometimes one can give the simulation to people with the laptops so participants can play with it themselves. You can see that here. Uh, sometimes a formal college classroom or a high school classroom. Sometimes in a business of a bank in Dubai, for example. Another form is just a more informal but smaller group. Three people looking at En-ROADS together to talk about what to do. Perhaps at a kitchen table, talking through scenarios. One person facilitating, the other one being engaged, creating a scenario that they want to share with others around the world. Also, a workshop could be more of an interactive presentation. One person sharing and engaging people and thinking about possible scenarios in the future, perhaps three presenters, perhaps at a bigger stage, uh, and even large conference stages in Beijing, for example. They also can be done online. Here we have a small group or a very large group online interacting on Zoom to create a scenario. Okay, the second form, the Climate Action Simulation Game, a role-playing game where the facilitators play the role of UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres or UNFCCC Executive Secretary Patricia Espinoza and convene an emergency climate summit backed by En-ROADS, where we have participants from conventional energy, coal, oil, and gas, and climate justice hawks, and commerce and industry, clean tech, world governments, land, forests, and ag, teams of two, teams of 10, working together to advocate for their positions as they come together with other stakeholders to create a scenario well below two degrees in their roles. The setup has some people at tables, but others on the floor. You can see people sitting here. Or others, the more powerful groups, receive snacks to point out some of the injustice of the global conversation between stakeholder groups. People make presentations to advocate for their position. They see their results in En-ROADS. They negotiate, they agree, they disagree, they talk with each other. Very dynamic and interactive and physical with people moving around. It can be done online, through Zoom. And then afterwards, people drop their roles and debrief in a big circle to extract all the meaning and commit themselves to some action coming out of the event. The Edwards Climate Guided Assignment or Student Assignment is a way to let people think through all the questions that might come up as they make their own scenario. So there are several PDFs or Word documents shared. One can give a student where they alone make a scenario or in a small group make a scenario or a larger group make a scenario and then reflect on all of the implications for the world and their experience. There's a template for creating one's own PowerPoint slide to summarize the results and share it with others if one wants to have a design competition or a set of presentations with the results that were created. The fourth is that you can create a scenario and just share it. Make a scenario, put it on a big screen, write a sign, take a picture and share it with the world like these young people are doing. There's a button that you can hit to share your scenario to Twitter or Facebook or LinkedIn or other social media. One can go search for them online right now to share your vision or your participants' vision of how we ought to address the climate 
challenge. And then the fifth wild card is that some groups and individuals have made their own versions. There's a choose your own adventure online novel called Survive the Century that uses Andros. Bloomberg Green made an interactive version of the model. All right, those are the five different formats. We hope that they're useful. Go run the workshop or run the game. Go give a group the guided assignment. Perhaps just share your own scenario with the world or set up other people. Or if you have the technical skills and capacity, make your own version of En-ROADS by working with us. Hope this was helpful.